Hi, everyone, and welcome to the PipeTorch Lightning Community Talk Series. This is our second episode, and I'm excited to be joined here by my host, Aish. Uh, Aish, how about you introduce our guest? Yeah, sure. So hello, everyone. My name is Ashwara Srinivasan, and I'm super excited to introduce Laura today. Uh, she is a computer vision engineer in Unitary. Uh, she holds a master's in sciences in biomedical engineering and nanotechnology, which is super cool. Her interests also include AI safety and explainability. So I'm really, really glad to have you here, Laura. Would you like to talk more about yourself and like also let us know what you've been working on? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you, Aish, for this introduction. Um, so yeah, as you mentioned, I'm a computer vision engineer at Unitree, where we're trying to tackle the problem of um, hateful or harmful content online. Um, and um, before that, I was working as a research assistant at University of Oxford on AI robustness. And I also worked as data scientist for almost two years in the medical imaging field. That, that's really amazing. So, you know, like I often find myself going about on you know, GitHub and finding like these really cool open source projects. And I came across yours recently. Uh, I have been working on Profinity Filter uh, some time ago, and I totally understand how big of a challenge it is in the space of natural language processing because of the kind of um, hate speech or like the different variations of um, like, you know, the text which comes in for these things. So I wanted to like talk to you about what Detoxify is as that's also based on toxicity detection. And uh, could you please tell us more about what Detoxify is and what was your motivation behind building it? Uh, yes, sure. So Detoxify is an open source Python library for toxic common classification. Uh, it gives easy access to three different models inspired by the Jigsaw challenges on uh, on Kaggle. Um, so the first challenge focused on uh, multi-label toxic common classification. Um, so it provided la um, labels for subcategories of toxicity like um, insult, threat, identity attack, um, obscene. The second challenge focused on minimizing unintended bias, and the third challenge focused on building um, multilingual models. So Detoxify offers uh, um, checkpoints for each um, of these challenges, and, and the training code, so it's fully re reproducible. I, I have to say, for me, like when I came across your repo, that was one of the things that impressed me the most. I know that uh, in the past, there have been other models out there for like uh, detox, uh, for like detecting kind of like profanity and those types of models, but everything that I've always seen has been kind of wrapped away behind some sort of paywall or API. So being able to actually see how the model's trained, also be able to take those checkpoints and go from there is, is really cool. And I, I also really love the way that you integrated uh, both Hugging Face for training out your models with PyTorch Lightning. I was curious, like, what, what are the reasons, what drove your choice of PyTorch Lightning as your trainer? Uh, yeah, sure. So I was first introduced to PyTorch Lightning when I was working as a research assistant and someone else uh, told me about it. Um, and that was, I thought the concept of um, separating the uh, research side from the engineering side was really cool and time saving. So this is exactly what came in handy when um, I was trying to build a quick prototype for Detoxify and uh, Python lighting was definitely a, a great tool for this. And what's your favorite lightning feature? Uh, yeah, so I actually have uh, two that I, I really like. Um, the first um, one is the um, validation interval. You're, you have the option to change the validation interval. You can do the validation a few times per epoch or every few epochs. Um, and the second one is also the um, option to um, have this validation sanity check, which is really cool. Um, you can do the really quick, really quick validation before the training epoch. So this um, catches any errors if you have um, some errors in your validation code, which can also save you a lot of time. Absolutely. I, I know for me personally, like I love that. And I also love the variation there of being able to overfit. Uh, I've often prior to using Lightning, I would spend so much time training through all my data and, and running into these issues where I thought things were running, but then I didn't understand why it wasn't converging and being able to have those flags that allow you to play with your data and, and overfit on subsamples or 
without having to manage all those splits yourself, it, it, it's amazing. So again, I, I really wanted to thank you for taking the time and joining for, joining us. Uh, Detoxify is a really awesome project and you can find the link here and also we'll provide the link in the description of the video. So I definitely recommend everybody check it out. Uh, I also recommend the community check out High Torch Lightning and all the updates that we're doing. Two weeks ago, we released uh, 1.2, a lot of really cool new features there. So definitely recommend checking them out uh, and join the conversation. So follow us on at PyTorch Lightning without the G on Twitter and join our Slack community uh, so that hopefully we can feature your projects in the next upcoming episode. Thank you all. Thank you.